Welcome back guys. In this video I'll be picking up where my last PvP building guide had left off. If you haven't seen that one, I'll leave the link in the description so that way you can check that out before you start this one. In this video, I'll be focusing on defenses and how to build them, so that way you can protect your base from getting raided. The first tip I have is using pillars as a fence. Pillar fencing is an extremely good technique to block dinos from getting close to your base. When placing down a pillar fence, have the first pillar snap into a pinpoint close to your base. From there, you can work your way out into a certain distance depending on how far you actually want the fence to be away from your base. It is personal preference on how large and how far away you want to make the pillar fencing. For me, I'll be making mine 7 pillars long. When setting up the pillar fence, be sure to use wood, that way you don't waste any major resources. Once you've established how far away you want to be placing the pillars, you can then begin placing your permanent pillars down if you're using metal. Begin to surround your entire base in a square formation using the pillars. The nice part about using pillars as a fence around your base is that it comes out extremely smooth and symmetrical to your base itself. That way everything looks really flush at the end. When building the fence, be sure to leave one entire side open of your base, that way you can make an entrance later on. Once you finish that step, you can then demolish the wood pillars that you use to align the fence with the base. Next is to make the pillars two times high. This way it will block any medium sized dinos from getting anywhere close to the base itself. The next step is to place ceilings down in the middle portion of the pillars. This is a setup for another tip which I'll explain later on in the video. The next step is to place down metal spiked walls around the outer edge of the pillar fencing. I know this tip seems extremely obvious, however placing it down with the pillar fences allows you to have a symmetrical foundation for the spike fences itself. As I had stated before, make sure you place the spiked fence walls on the outer edge of the pillar fencing. This way it'll deter any dinos from getting close to your inner defenses. Now the final portion of building the pillar fence is to set down ceilings on top of the pillars itself. Around this entire upper level, we're going to be placing down large crop plots and Plant Species X as a main line of defense. When using Plant Species X, I recommend keeping them in a higher up location so that way players can't walk up to the crop plot and take out the fertilizer. When the Plant Species X has no fertilizer, it becomes void and is not able to shoot anything. So keeping them on a higher level to where players can't reach the crop plot itself is the safest strategy when using Plant Species X. However, you can place them on the ground, just be aware on where you're placing them. If players can easily get to it, they most likely will just take out the fertilizer and your plant species X will become void. Another good place to stage plant X is on top of your base itself. This will deter any raiders from attempting to get in through your roof. Another good defense to place down on top of your roof other than auto turrets is spiked walls. Having these spiked walls on top of your roof will stop any raider from attempting to land with a flyer on top of your roof. The next tip I have for you guys is what I call railing locks. Railing locks, you'll need fence foundations and railings. What exactly this does is it locks the player out from moving at all. This is caused by placing down a lot of fence foundations and railings in one area. When a player attempts to jump over any of these railings, it'll cause the player to get stuck due to Ark's game mechanics. Depending on where the player attempts to jump over these railings at, could cause the player to get stuck permanently. The best part about this defense is that you can use it and place it down anywhere to block off a certain location from any players walking through. If you're inside a cave, you can block off an entire entrance just by placing down these railings. No players can easily walk through. I do recommend if you use this method to block off an entrance, 
to have a grappling hook handy, that way you can get over it. You can use this defense in several different ways, however the one that I use it mostly for is to set up areas causing the raider to go around them. This will lead them into a choke point, to where they'll meet certain defenses, and they'll end up dying. The next tip I have for you is concealment. This will protect you from anybody on the ground attempting to shoot into your base. This is done by placing either behemoth gateways or dinosaur gateways all around the outer edge of your fence. The best part about using this defense is that if they haven't scanned out your base already with a flyer, they won't know which side and where your entrance to your base is. This way, they won't know where to attack from. You could also use these gateways offensively. When raiders or a random dino starts attacking your base, you can then open all the doors simultaneously. This will cause all your inner defenses to become open to the outer world, and they can open fire on everything that is outside that is in the vicinity of their shots. This will cause your base to go from defensive to offensive in a matter of seconds. To do this, set every door to the exact same pin code, except for the entrance itself, so that way your main entrance doesn't open when you initiate the keypad launch to open all the doors. However, be sure to make the code simple to where you can type it into the keypad really quickly in case of an emergency where you need to open or close the doors really quickly. Another line of defense I highly recommend are building turret towers. I had already covered in another video a specific build on a turret tower much like this one that makes it almost indestructible. I'll leave that link in the description for you guys to check out. Be sure to build these because they are one of the best defenses that you could have in a base. So finishing off the one tip that I had started in the very beginning of the video, dealing with the ceilings in the middle of the pillars. These ceilings are used to place down railings on a lower portion of the pillar fence. This is a last resort defense to where if anybody was raiding your base and they somehow got past all your defenses, they won't be able to just casually walk directly inside your base. But hold on, why use railings instead of walls you ask? Well, it's simple. With railings you can see through them. This way you can see if anybody's attempting to attack from a certain location on a certain side of your base. And you can also see if they got through. If you had walls down instead, the enemy could use it as cover. If they somehow got past your defenses, they could use the wall to run around the entire outskirts of your outer fence. So by using the railing, you'll be able to see them and stop the threat if needed. The final tip I have for you guys is placing down defenses inside your base. Surprisingly, not too many people do this, at least to my knowledge from when I'm raiding people. Placing down traps and auto turrets inside your base could be one of the best ways to protect anything inside your base as a last line defense. Many times, an unexperienced raider will have no idea how to handle this situation and they won't be able to get to any of your loot. The best and most fun part about having defenses inside your base is that you can get creative with it. As I have here, if a raider attempts to go through these dino gates, they'll be hit with several auto turrets. Using the element of surprise such as this can stop any raider who's unprepared. If you haven't done so already, finish off your main entrance. I recommend building the dinosaur gateways and the behemoth gateways first. That way you know exactly how long you need to make the pillar fencing. In the end you'll have one badass base that can go offensive, defensive, and pull some trickery on any raiders that attempt to attack you. Those are all the PvP defense building tips I have for you guys today. My name is Muffley, and I'll see you survivors out in the arc.